Tova, I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live here in Jerusalem, just outside my apartment. Uh, it is amazing at the rain, the storms that we are getting here. In fact, when I was in Europe last week, uh, they were reporting on Israel National News that we were having an unusual late uh, uh, rainy season this year. In fact, there was a huge storm that had blew in through uh, northern Israel, through the Golan, and as well through uh, southern Israel bringing tremendous amounts of rains, 55 me uh, millimeters in some areas here. And this morning at 3.30 a.m., the storms rolled into Jerusalem, some of those of which you're hearing now. Uh, as you see the footage there, I filmed some of that from my bedroom there. And the, the thunder and the lightning that was going on in hail, even the, you can hear maybe in some of this, you'll be able to hear a little bit at the, at the beginning of the video here, you can hear the hail as it pounded against the window. And uh, it is still coming down. It's about 7.30 this morning. The rains are heavy. And uh, I'll be out this morning trying to pick some of this up because to get this heavy of a rain is kind of unusual. Uh, we do have winter rains in Israel, but that normally kind of tapers off already by now, especially with May right on, the, on our heels. And once, once May gets here, the, the rains cease for sure, and then it's summertime and no more rain whatsoever until later. It does remind me though of a story I wanted to share with you. Back in 2004, I was in a cab with a Palestinian driver, and it was in the summer. It was the first time I'd come to Israel. It's very unique, and the cab driver, I said to him, we need rain. I had no idea that it never rained in the summer in Israel because it's a desert. And uh, he said, we don't get rain this time of year. And he kind of laughed. He looked out his window and, and he said, it doesn't rain in Israel in the summertime. Well, that just kind of rubbed me wrong. And I said, God is able to put rain here. And then he continued to mock it. And when he did, something came over me. And I said to him, I said, not only is God able to put rain here, I said, but God will bring rain. I said, and then you will know that there is a God in Israel. I really went to prayer that week, and I prayed earnestly. A couple of days later, it sprinkled a little bit, and I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I said, he's only mocking more now. I said, what we need, Lord, I said, to be able to show this man that there is a God in Israel is two inches of rain, some thunder, some lightning, and some hail. The next morning, we had two inches of rain. It thundered, it lightning, and even Big chunks of hail came down out of the sky. My neighbor who had been living in Israel all her life said she had never seen it hail before. Just goes to show there is a God still in Israel. And he still hears your prayers. In fact, this rain here is another answer of prayer. Because when I was in Europe, I said, Lord, I saw the news on Israel National News, and I said, Lord, I didn't get to film it. You don't get to film big rains in Israel very often. I missed the snow. I was in Europe during the time when it snowed in Jerusalem, and I'm like, how do I keep missing all the excitement? And I thought, Lord, I'd love to be able to film it once I get back home before the season's over, which the season technically should already be over. And sure enough, he makes sure I wake up with all the thundering and lightning this morning at 3.30. But I never expected four hours later, almost five hours now, it would still be pouring down rain here in Jerusalem. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom, and may your day be as pleasant as mine.